All right, welcome back. In a Fox Business Alert, the Dow tumbling more than 500 points at Monday's close, extending the market's worst start to a December since 1980. So with the Fed considering another interest rate hike and a looming trade war with China, uh, will the markets be able to rebound from all of this? Here now to weigh in is stock market expert and the founder of the Stock Swoosh, Melissa Armo. Uh, Melissa, thanks for coming on this morning. Good morning. First of all, good to see you. Let's take a look at a little chart here showing the Dow Jones this year, which has been just a heck of a roller coaster ride. As you look here, uh, it really dipped down earlier in the year in the spring, and then it started coming back up, and now we're really starting to see it fall again, erasing some of those 2018 gains. What do you make of this? Well, you have to put it in perspective. If yeah. you look at when Trump got elected, the day after Trump was elected, the run-up that we've had, which we just made a brand new all-time high on October 3rd, seems like a long time ago, but it was actually only less than, well, two, a little bit more than two months ago. Yeah. Putting that into perspective, you were up at that point on October 3rd, about 40%, if you bought one share right after Trump was elected, and you're still up even after the close yesterday, about right. 25%. So you, people have to put it into perspective. It's 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 obscenely high, the market is. Yes. I mean, I, I think it wasn't that long ago that we were at eight, 9,000, I think, under Obama. Exactly. Now we're in the 20s. I mean, that's, that's crazy to think about. Let's look at a tweet from the president because uh, he blames a lot of this on the Fed uh, and their insistency on, on, on basically uh, raising rates here. Let's pull that up. Here it is. Uh, it is incredible that with a very strong dollar and, and virtually no inflation, the outside world blowing up around us, Paris is burning down, China way down. The Fed is even considering yet another interest rate rate hike. Take the victory. Now they're thinking they might raise them again tomorrow. Tomorrow's a big day. Do you think day. they've been jumping the gun here trying to protect this economy? To be honest with you, I think Trump has a point because when Trump decided to go with the tax reform, that was to help save corporations money. And Remember, the market is made up of companies, so they've saved money. With rising rates, then companies have expenses, so then it counteracts itself. So yeah. even though rates have risen, they don't have to rise as quickly, and this is Trump's point, yeah. as the Fed has been raising them. I wouldn't be surprised if they don't raise rates tomorrow. Now, how is the market going to react? Now, yeah, go up it, a thousand it, points. It, well, yeah. it, I think the market yeah. could rally. I think we're yeah. going to have a rally at the tail end of 2018, but I don't think we're going to make new highs again before the end of the year. But it's yeah. everyone is in panic city USA mode, yeah. and they need to get it into perspective, yeah. because I believe that the market volatility is going to continue into 2019. And in fact, my outlook for the for the next year is that we see more volatility than we saw this well, year. Yeah, a lot of people are saying a recession's yes. coming in the next year, year and a half. Well, we'll see. I, I think the market's still going to hold. Okay, all right. Well, we we don't know. We'll see about that. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, everybody's got a different opinion. Let's talk about the Mueller investigation because a lot of people think this has really hurt the president because the markets do tend to like this president. They've been going up a lot underneath him, and they like the economy. They like the, the strong job numbers. Mueller threatens that. Well, I will tell you that every time there's a whiff of any legal troubles for Trump or Russia collusion or anything about the Mueller investigation, the market yep. does have a drop off. Sometimes it lasts for five minutes. Sometimes it lasts for a day. The market definitely likes Trump. When you look at the rally that we had in 2017, that was historic. That that wasn't normal. Now, we've had bullish markets during other presidencies, but that was a power trend. So yep. it's much different than just a normal bullish market. So the market likes Trump. And again, it goes back to the tax reform. The savings of the companies. They and, like Trump's policies. And more policies. important than the stock market and all this, look at our unemployment rate. Stocks are that one too. thing, but look at just the general health of the economy before you just look at the Dow as an indicator of anything. Exactly. That's yeah. why I'm positive. I'm yeah. very positive. I mean, everyone's bearish, but I'm still bullish on the market. Well, Melissa, thank you so much for your time this morning. We do appreciate your expertise. Jillian, over to you.